If you're brand new to working from home and don't know how to do it, good news for you, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel devoted to you, the digital marketer, your mindset, and especially your online business. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up if you actually get value out of this video, comment down below, and pound the notification bell so you get alerted when we drop new videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays between 6, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, tons of people out there working from home. I would guess to say 90% people watching this video right now are going, you know, how do I do this? I've been forced to work from home or I've decided to work from home or however you want to label it. But either way, we're all sitting here working from home. The good news is, is that as marketers, we've been doing this for a long time. So if you are new to working from home, we can share how we do it with you. And again, this is how we do it. So you can take it and mold it to your situation, your environment and find out what works best for you. Okay. Now the name of this channel is your digital mindset. So obviously big fans of mindset. First, we need to get our mindset right. Make sure we understand that you know we're gonna we're gonna set out on this journey that we're gonna be successful. And the first step of making sure you're successful at that mission is starting early. Okay. And for me, in my opinion, and I've got a master's degree in psychology. It's not bragging. It's just facts. I'm just sharing with you a little bit about myself, why I am so about mindset. Is getting up early gives you an opportunity to get along with you, and your thoughts, and your dreams, and your aspirations, and your goals, so you can be successful at that. And you're not reactionary throughout the day. You are proactive. So when you get up early, you're able to take control of the day instead of you being the day's puppet. The day belongs to you. Okay. So getting up early helps ensure that. And I'm not talking about six o'clock in the morning. If you get up at six o'clock now, then make it five. Try to move it back an hour. Do yourself this favor to help your mindset get right, to help you be in control of the day by getting up earlier. And again, if you get up at seven, get up at six, get up at six. Get, you can get up at four, then do it. But that's what time I get up at 415. That gives me time to get awake so I can get busy as soon as I can. Because I've got people on the other side of the world. I've got a ton of people in my Facebook group, literally on the other side of the world. And I need to get to them as soon as I can. Getting up earlier helps me do that. All right, so once we decided we're gonna get up early, great. Now, what are we gonna do throughout the day to be successful as we work from home? All right, it's all about, again, in my opinion, processes. And I've been doing digital marketing and working from home for over a decade, so this is what works for me. And again, take this, take the little pieces of it and make it your own and make it work for you. All right, now, it's all about, some people call them rituals, some people call them processes, systems, whatever. But again, they pretty much are systems. I like to break the day up into time blocks. All right. And there's a I think it's called a Pomodoro uh, technique. And it, that's a 25 minute on a five minute off. Okay. Where you're 25 minutes working, five minutes off, take a break. I do a 45 eight is what I do throughout the day. I just get, again, I've taken the Pomodoro technique and you know, mold it into what works for me. And again, you do, you can do the same for you before you get into your time blocks though, make sure that the people, if you have other members in your household, make sure they understand that your time blocks are your time blocks. That's one of the main keys to working from home and being successful at working from home is making sure that other members of the household understand that for you to be successful, your time has got to be your time. However, make sure that they understand that they're very important to you. So if you have kids or you have a husband or wife or whatever, you know, let them know, what issue might you have right now before I get started with my day? If it's that important, then go ahead and take care of it immediately. And then when you get into your time block, then that time can be yours. Let them know that, okay, I'm going to take care of your situation. But when I start my, my day, those time periods are going to be mine. When I take my breaks, I will help you with whatever issue you have. So then they understand that they're important to you still, but also your time is very important. And here's the deal. Cause because if you don't respect your time and let people like that know, then they won't respect your time either. So unless you let them know, that you know this is important they can't treat it as important either okay so that's very that's crucial that's one of the biggest tips of working from home is making sure that other people in the household don't feel neglected but let them know if your issue is pressing and urgent and it's got to be taken care of right now great i'll take care of it right now but once i get started on my time block then i won't be available until my break time again but if their issue is not pressing then it can wait until your break period all right so you just got to make those decisions those executive decisions of what's important now and what's what can wait. So either way, now, so you figure out what kind of time block you're gonna have, when your breaks are gonna be, and now let's talk about the breaks. The breaks are very important. Now, I'm a big fan and a big 
advocate because mindset is so crucial and exercise is such a big part of mindset and overall mental health and overall physical health, obviously. So, and I'm just going to touch, I have what's called a gazelle and I'm not going to drag it out right now, but I'll, maybe I'll throw a link up here. I don't have a link to it right now, but maybe by the time I make the video, I'll get you a link to a gazelle. Not very expensive, but you get on, it's like an elliptical. You might have something already. Either way, some kind of exercise on your brakes is great throughout the day. So you don't, you know, you don't have to feel like you're got to go to the gym and spend an hour. You just do it on your little five or 10 minute breaks that you have. And I also use a little, uh, I did, I was able to bring this out. If you can see it, it's a little peddler. I use this for my arms and my legs throughout the day on top of the gazelle. And then I also have some hand weights that I use on top of that sprinkle this throughout the day and it's really great to something to do besides sitting in front of a computer and just staring at a screen all day you know i know if you're older like i am you got kids you tell them stop staring at screens all day well do, give yourself that advice too. do something else besides their screen screens all day get some exercise maybe walk around the house whatever jumping jacks any, anything can can be a part of that break period all right so that's it and then make sure and again this is just what i do and you can take this and make it however it works for you all right and then the next thing is make sure that you have a space in your home something is just yours during these time periods that you've made for these in these time blocks make sure that space is yours it's a private space as much as it can be i know everybody's environment doesn't allow for having a separate room but just have your own corner of the room if you have to make sure that people understand that you know your time is important your space is important and but they're also important as well so i mean that will help your total environment your total work day go a lot smoother when people don't feel neglected but they also are respecting your time and you don't feel taken advantage of either all right and again that's just my experience of over a decade of working from home and being a marketer and studying psychology now again this is just a how to work from home that's the first this is the first video in a series that i'm going to do the next video is going to talk a little bit more of what to do from home okay if you'd like to be part of a team to, to help you at working from home, we'd love to help you. We've been doing it for a long, long time. You can join our team, join our family today by clicking the link below. If not, I'll see you in the next video. It's Chaz here with yourdigitalmindset.com and I definitely hope to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.